Toprak coming up through the ranks. Rinaldi came up through the ranks at the same time as Toprak in the stock 600, stock 1000 class before moving on to a superbike. Can't take a title away. You mean there were no track limits on that last lap? Uh, that would have been a way to get us an extra race, wouldn't it? Uh, making their way onto the podium then, the same three that have dominated throughout this 2021 campaign. And they will be world at number three, two and one as well. Toprak with the uh, gold get up making his way to take second position. It's his 29th podium of this 2021 campaign. I'm sure he'll be gunning for number 30 and he'll be aiming for the top step of the podium this afternoon as well. But the race winner, and as I said previously, 1-11, the 12th victory of 2021 for Jonathan Ray. Ray steps up, 21st different circuit, as I said previously, that he's managed to win at. He's got a good record down the years for uh, new circuits as well. He's got a good record down the years for pretty much everything, Jonathan Ray, and uh, that's what's made him the rider everyone had to aim for in recent years but now it's Toprak that's going to have the target on his back and uh, that target is, is going to be big and bold as far as Jonathan Ray is concerned if uh, there was ever a, a situation of complacency that'll be long gone this winter is going to be uh, like something out of a Rocky movie for Jonathan Ray I'm sure yeah Jonathan's going to be on a countdown until uh, the start of the next season a countdown until December 15 his first time back on track with Kawasaki in that winter test and uh, certainly he's going to be focused on maximising everything he has has to try and bring the fight back to top rack next year. This is going to be uh, more sweet and sour than your uh, Chinese last night, Steve, for Jonathan Ray up on the top step of the podium. Can't really celebrate, though, that when you've just lost the world title, it's going to be a, a difficult moment for him. Well, the one thing for Jonathan is he's also known that this moment was potentially coming for quite a while during the course of this season. He said that this has been a strange season. He hasn't tried to plan out any championship celebrations. He's just been focusing on the job at hand. He knew the task ahead of him. And uh, ultimately, you can see there just uh, the, the stresses of seven years of having that pressure on your shoulders. It actually could be a little bit of a release for Jonathan as well. It really gives him a new focus for the next couple of years as well. Well, what's the challenge now? Beat Top Rack next year and sail off into the sunset as the greatest of all time? Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, he's already down as the greatest of all time. We'll wait and see what happens next year. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please, your respect for the national anthem of the winning rider, the national anthem of Great Britain. And your national anthem for your race winning manufacturer, Kawasaki. Jonathan Ray then is your race winner, but top rack Raz Gatlioglu, and with a race to spare, is your 2021 world title winner. But a further reminder of just how closely matched the two of them have been over the course of this season is podium number 29 for both Raz Gatlioglu and Ray. It is win number 12 for Jonathan Ray compared to 13 for Raz Gatli Oglu. And uh, he'll be going to try and match top rack later on this afternoon. 25 points between them. So that's less than a, a point per race in favour of Top Rack as uh, he seals the 2021 world title. Uh, Top Rack, uh, as is customary, making his way away for the uh, celebrations with the Prosecco. But he will be back. And when he is back, we'll be awarding him the uh, 2021 World Champion Trophy. And uh, that'll be a special moment for all concerned. Yeah, for Top Rack, for the team and uh, for everyone involved. It is going to be a special moment, and uh, you can see for Jonathan Ray there on the top step of the podium. Like you said, Alex, it's going 
be a bittersweet moment in some ways, but uh, certainly for Ray, the respect that he has for Toprak will probably mean that uh, if he was going to give it up to anyone, he probably would have wanted to top, see Toprak be that rider. Music down by the uh, Paddock Show. Sounds like something uh, straight from last night's uh, Bike Week uh, Lombok party on the beachfront, and I'm sure there'll be a little bit more of that this evening, particularly if your name is Toprak Razgatlioglu. Still a small matter of another race to come yet, and we're all looking forward to that. So that's your podium trio for race one of the first Indonesian.